All right, good morning, engineers. Uh, happy Thursday. I'm going to introduce to you today your last assessment of Unit 5 control structures, or just be 2 um, And I'll show you my program and uh, hopefully kind of clarify what's expected of you to do this program well. Just a reminder, uh, today will be your last assignment of the week. And then remember, holidays, uh, Monday is Memorial Day. So you've got until Tuesday to work on any late work and to get this done. And again, remember, I have uh, emails. I'll always answer your questions via that. And office hours from 3 to 4 if you get uh, stuck in that one. Although I may have to modify today's office hours a little bit because I'm trying to get some stuff together for graduating seniors. So anyways, let me explore this. Uh, today, I'm going to ask you to do for assessment aspect two, instead of making it up myself, I'm going to actually have you use code HS's 6.1.1, the guessing game. So let me show you that. So this is what we just finished, uh, unit five control structures. And then after every unit, there's some challenges. Some of you have been doing these naturally. I've seen you uh, tackle these. Um, and I've, we did a little bit of challenges in Carol the Dog. Today I'm going to have you do ex one specific one out of control structures uh, challenges. So I'll open that one up and I want you to do this first one. It's called the guessing game. So let me show you what that is all about. I'm picking the guessing game, 6.1.1, because it's going to ask us to demonstrate what we've learned in the second half of the control structures unit. So things like using random numbers, a while loop, a while and a half loop. And it's also kind of fun to create a program that actually works this. So what is it ask, asking us? It says the computer picks a number between 1 and 100 and you have to guess it. So you won't know the number. It's going to randomly pick it. And you're going to have to figure out or the user will have to figure out what that number is. The computer will tell you whether your guess is too high or too low or correct. So it's going to use some of those logical operators that we uh, looked at at the very beginning of the control structures unit. Your assignment is to generate a random number and let the user guess numbers until they guess the correct number. Make sure you let the user know that they should what they should do at the beginning of the program. A couple hints. You're going to want to use some kind of loop. Uh, make sure the exit make sure to exit the loop when the user guesses correctly or enters negative one. So negative one's like your quit. It's your break in your loop and a half. Right? Your sentinel in 5.10. Uh, so you're going to use constraints, uh, maybe max or constants rather, maybe max or min to represent the range uh, the computer can choose. So you could make this program instead of having to guess one through a hundred, you can make it one through a thousand, one through a million, right? Um, and you're going to use a random randomizer to generate the number. So here's an example of what the output might look like. Let me show you how mine runs. All right. So what we have here then is I have uh, my window and my code kit written. It's not an overly long code with some spaces and some comments. It's about 30 lines. And if I hit run code, it says the computer is playing a guessing game. Guess a number between 1 and 100. So I'll put in 50 right in the middle. What does it tell me? It says your guess is too high, so it's got to be lower than that. Let's try 25, half of that. Now my guess is too low, so I'll work my way back up. Uh, it's 30, it's too low, 35, it's too high. So 31, too low, 32, it's too low, 33, it's correct. So it says correct, the game has concluded, so the number was 33. Uh, so that's one way. If, we're com if we are able to guess it, we want to be able to exit the game. We don't want to go on forever and just keep guessing numbers after we already found the correct one. The other one is what if we get a little bit tired of this, right? So if I hit run code and I guess and I say 60, uh, the too high, oh, I really don't feel like doing this anymore. I'm going to hit negative one. And it says the game has concluded, right? Your guess is too low, but the game has concluded. So that was your break in the loop and a half. That's what we're after in this code. And again, remember, if you need help, email me, come to office hours. Good luck, guys. Have a good weekend.